Welcome to the Call Tower WebEx calling tutorial. In this video, we'll be going over how to place a call, how to answer a call, how to initiate a conference call, how to put a call on hold, park and transfer a call, setting up call forwarding, accessing your voicemail, setting yourself in a do not disturb status, and the mobile app. Let's go over placing a call on WebEx. So first you need to do is uh, launch your WebEx application. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, launch that up. I've already uh, logged in with my credentials. So on the left hand side of your WebEx client, you're going to see a little phone icon. So you're going to be able to click on that icon and you're going to see a few things here. So on the left side of the panel, you're going to see your uh, call log. So any place calls, uh, any uh, missed calls, any received calls are going to show up here. So you've got uh, two different sections. So you have the all section, which is going to classify and, and put all your all your place calls and missed calls, and received calls, or you can just click on the miss section and see um, any calls that you have may have missed. Now, from any any of these uh, entries, you can uh, click on audio call to initiate an audio call, uh, and if they're an internal uh, co-worker or somebody that does have WebEx, you can also click on the video call. On the right hand side, you're going to see your dial pad. So um, all you need to do is type in the telephone number. And once you've got that phone number in there, you can go ahead and press the audio and your computer will start to dial. Additionally, if you have additional devices that you want to do, uh, or use like a Cisco phone, you'll be able to click those devices. Or you can just, once you've created the phone call, you can pick up your handset and pick the call up. Additionally, because WebEx is integrated with Outlook, you could also search for contacts outside of your corporation. So by just going up here to the top uh, search bar, I'm going to go ahead and look up my realtor. And what it's going to do is it's going to look for Maria. Uh, in a few different places. First, any people that you have within your corporation, any uh, any Marias that you may have in any conversations that you've had in your spaces, meaning your WebEx uh, uh, chat rooms. And then lastly, at the bottom, as you'll see here, are my Outlook contacts. And then from here, I can also click on the um, icon and then I'll have two, two options and that'll be the phone or video. And that's how you can place a call in WebEx. Answering a call as WebEx is very straightforward and simple. So you do get a call, you'll receive a little toast on your screen and your phone will ring. At that point you can pick up your handset or just click on the answer and now you're connected with your call. And that's how to answer a call on WebEx. Let's go over merging or conferencing folks into an audio call. So with my WebEx app open, I'm going to go ahead and uh, initiate a call to my WebEx client and we'll show um, how you can bring in other folks to that meeting. So I'll have a call coming in. I'll go ahead and answer that call. And let's say we want to bring in a third, uh, third person in the conversation. I can hit the little ellipses button down here, uh, the little three dots, and from here we'll go ahead and hit conference. That's going to automatically put the, 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 the first caller on hold, and I can either search for somebody internally uh, to bring in, or I can even do an external phone number. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in an external phone number and give myself an, a, a call on that, uh, on an, another soft phone. So I'll go ahead and make that call. I'm going to get that call popping in on my, on my computer. And now that I've got the second person, I can merge the call. So by doing that, um, you'll see now we have three folks on the call. And if I wanted to add a, a fourth person, I can continue to do that same process by hitting the three dots, the more options, hitting conference, and then calling that next person. And that's how you um, can uh, initiate a conference call uh, within the WebEx app. 
hold, park, and transfer on the WebEx app. So we're gonna go ahead and initiate a call to the WebEx client. We'll go ahead and pick that call up once it's At this point, I have a couple of options for those three items. I can hit the ellipses um, icon down here, the three dots, the more options. And I can do a few things here. We uh, went over conferencing in our last uh, demo, but we'll go over hold, park, and transfer. So we'll go over hold, uh, pretty straightforward. Click on hold, that's gonna put the call on hold. And then at any time, if you want to re uh, re return to that call or resume it, just go ahead and hit the resume button. Uh, when it comes to call park, you can go ahead and hit the ellipses button again and click on the park icon. And what now it's done is, is um, put the call parked on an extension star 10 3, 300. So from any uh, Cisco phone in your organization, you can just pick up a handset and uh, dial that star 10 uh, 300 and be connected to that call. So you can maybe call into an overhead speaker and say, hey, Alex, there's a call on extension uh, 10 30 parked for you. And they'll just be able to hit star 10 30 and be picked up on any Cisco phone. Uh, and you can also retrieve the call by clicking on the retrieve, cut, the, the retrieve button and you're now connected. Lastly, we can do a transfer. So by hitting the ellipses again, I can hit transfer. And now that's gonna put that call on hold while you call the transfer uh, person or a target. So I'm gonna go ahead and either uh, type in a person's name uh, well, I'll be uh, transferring to, or I can even transfer to an external number by telling, putting in the telephone number. Uh, once I've uh, made the initial call, I'll be able to finish off by transferring. I'm calling uh, my coworker for the for the uh, transfer. I say, oh, yes, I am. I'm available now. Go ahead and complete the transfer. And now at that point, um, that call has been handed off. And that's how you do uh, parking, call hold, and transferring on your WebEx application. If you want to set up call forwarding on your WebEx app, that's also pretty straightforward. On the bottom left-hand corner of your application, you're going to see call settings. So you can go ahead and click on that. And uh, right from the click on uh, from the call settings, you can do a, a, a direct transfer to voicemail. So by selecting that, any calls coming in uh, will be forwarded to voicemail. Now, let's say you want to do a transfer to some maybe a, an external person or a cell phone number or even a, a backup member of your team. You can just go ahead and click on open call preferences to give you more options. Um, and that's going to bring you right into your WebEx options under the calling tab. But from here, you can actually add uh, additional phone numbers. So if, again, if you don't want to go with just voicemail, you can add, uh, you know, cell phone numbers, uh, the, a phone number for a hunt group or a particular coworker, right? But we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now in my call settings, now I have not only my uh, voicemail, but now I can also forward to my cell phone. And that is how you do uh, call forwarding in your WebEx application. Let's go ahead and go check voice messages in our WebEx app. On our left-hand side, you're gonna see a little cassette icon. That is your voicemail um, tab. Uh, if you do have a new voicemail, obviously you'll see that uh, indicator on your phone, but you'll also see a little red dot on the WebEx app. Additionally, with the call sour service, you're gonna get a voicemail uh, to email transcription. But I'll go ahead and click on that icon. Uh, at that point, I can see I have a, a, you know, a, a message that I've listened to already. If it's an unread message, it'll be on the unread tab. Uh, but going into my inbox, I can click on my message. I'll see my date and time. So give me a second here. Uh, you'll see the date and time and uh, I'll be able to hit play and I can listen to the voice message. I can drag this uh, at any time to uh, expedite the call. I can uh, initiate that call back with an audio call. If they've got WebEx, I can give them a uh, video call. I can delete the message or I can mark the message as unread.
So I'm going to go ahead and mark it as unread. And as you can see there, now I've got that icon and it's going to show up in my unread status. And that's how you can check your voicemail in the WebEx Teams or WebEx app. Let me quickly show you how to set yourself in Do Not Disturb. Um, a use case for this would be, you know, maybe you don't want any phone calls, you're working on a project, or maybe you're doing some videos and you don't want any, any phone calls popping up while you're screen recording. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is up on the top left-hand corner, I'm gonna go ahead and click on my uh, picture here. And then uh, you're gonna see under um, availability, I am active or able to receive calls. So by just simply clicking on the arrow on the side here, I'm going to have the ability to put myself uh, and do not disturb for a few options. So by default, you have like a 30 minute, one hour, two, or if you want to, you can go ahead and set time and say, you know, uh, for today or even tomorrow, right? You can go ahead and set a do not disturb time and you can just kind of put in a 7.30. And then that'll put you in, in do not disturb until that uh, time. And once you've done that, you hit cancel. What you'll see now is your status icon has changed, your uh, icon is red, and then you are now in do not disturb. And then if at any point in time, maybe you finished a project early, you wanna take yourself out do, off of do not disturb, you'll just click on your, uh, your icon again, really go back in here and go ahead and hit clear. And now you're available to uh, take calls. And that's uh, as simple as that. Let's go over the WebEx soft phone app. As you may or may not be aware, your application on your PC can also be installed on a Mac, but also on a smart device like an iOS or Android device, so a phone or tablet. And what you would just normally do is go to the Perspective App Store. That's going to be either Google Play for Android or the App Store for iOS. And what I've downloaded uh, on my phone is the WebEx app. So uh, what you're seeing on the left or right hand side of the screen is the me mirroring my iPhone onto my computer so you can see um, the feature functionality or let me just kind of show you what that looks like on your cell phone so I can see I've got multiple apps and I've got the WebEx app there on the right hand side I'm going to go ahead and launch that app uh, obviously I'm going to put in my credentials and I'm going to have that same feature functionality that I have with the full, you know, with the, with the desktop version. So I've got my messages tab on the bottom right. I've got my teams for my collaboration. I've got my contacts and then I've got my calling. So from here I can uh, make calls. I can hit that blue circle with the dots in it and that's going to be my dial pad. And so when I make a phone call uh, from this app, it's going to show the work phone number as opposed to my personal phone number. And again, I can, uh, instigate or start a video uh, call or I can hit that X to close that out and then I can also join any meetings but uh, specifically the calling tab um, we're in here you can see your your recent calls your missed calls and from uh, by clicking on any of these icons now you can call that person so I can cancel that and that is the WebEx app for iOS or Android devices.